Hello, Mystery Reopened here, today, I am talking about a South Korean TV mini-series, whose name is, Nightmare Teacher. So just relax, watch out, and enjoy the movie. Jai Su, is a junior, at Yosun High School. In the opening scene, he looks into a mirror, and reminds himself of the names of his close friends. He doesn't forget to mention that a kid named, Ki Tai, is his best friend, among the rest. But then, when he tries to remember his own name, he seems to be confused. The scene shifts to the school's bathroom. Jai Su is locked inside a stall, copying answers to the midterm questions on a note. His best friend, Ki Tai, is outside banging on the door, asking him to come out because the period has already started. In the classroom, Jai Su is nervous because of the note, hidden under his sleeves. He plans to use it to cheat, on the midterm test. Since Jai Su is an academically talented student, he can often predict what questions are going to be asked in a test. Ki Tai begs him for help, to which Jai Su confidently lists a few questions. Trusting his friend, Ki Tai writes down the answers to the questions on his desk. Just then, their homeroom teacher, Mr. Han arrives. He officially initiates the midterm, asking them to avoid being the last one on the rank board. Before starting the test, he also makes them change their seats, which causes Ki Tai to end up away from the cheats that he had written. The test starts, and Jai Su immediately uses the note to cheat. Mr. Han reads a book for the first half of the test, which makes it even easier for him to copy the answers. Everything goes well, until Jai Su accidentally drops the note on the floor, in the plain sight of the teacher. To help him, Ki Tai distracts Mr. Han, by asking him for permission to go to the bathroom. In a moment of panic, Jai Su quickly picks up the note and puts it, in his mouth. The teacher looks directly at him and smirks, almost as if he knows what is going on. Still, he doesn't call them out for cheating. Then we are introduced to the president of the classroom, Kong Yi Rim. She goes to the teacher's room to play something on Mr. Han's desk. After making sure no one is looking at her, she goes through his belongings. A student council notebook in a drawer, catches her attention. It has a list of students' names from their class, but the column beside Jai Su's name, is a question mark on it. Suddenly, Mr. Han walks in, and catches her in the act. She pretends to put something into the drawer, and gets out of this situation. However, Mr. Han is not someone who's convinced so easily. He knows that something about the class president is off. In the following scene, Ki Tai and Jai Su, meet at the basketball court. Jai Su thanks his friend for saving him during the test. The guys continue playing basketball, when suddenly they are interrupted by Mr. Han, who calls Jai Su to the counseling room. Jai Su nervously follows behind, and takes a seat. The teacher starts the interview, by asking him how his test went. When Jai Su hesitates to answer, Mr. Han assumes it must have gone great, since his dearest friend helped him. Sarcasm is evident at teacher's comment, which makes Jai Su even more nervous. He starts to cough, and throws the piece of paper he had eaten, into the class. With the nervousness gets the best of him, he mentions that he did cheat, but the comment only confirms the teacher's suspicion. Still, Mr. Han remains calm, and offers Jai Su a strange carbonated drink. Jai Su doesn't think much, before skiing it. After he comes down a little, the teacher hands him another sheet of paper, and asks him to answer the questions on it. If he manages to get the same results, as he did in the test, his innocence will be proven, and no further actions will be taken. But if he doesn't remember the answers, the principal, will be informed. Jai Su is so nervous that the paper gets blurry, and he can hardly read the questions. The scene abruptly cuts, to an hour later. Jai Su is in the library, when Ki Tai arrives and asks him, what Mr. Han said. Jai Su lies, and claims that he just motivated him to study harder. Ki Tai isn't satisfied with the answer, but, he refrains from pushing Jai Su to tell the truth. Suddenly, Jai Su runs to the bathroom to throw up. The following day is the next test. While everyone continues writing as usual, Jai Su stays still. The teacher makes fun of him, and asked him if he has given up, only to find out that, he has already completed the test. Surprised, he takes a look at the paper, that is filled with all the answers. After the test, Ki Tai asks his friend how it went. Jai Su smugly replies that it was way too easy to be a test. Some girls from the class, including the class president, Yo Rim, are going through the questions. Jai Su notices them making a mistake in the calculation, and helps them with it. All of a sudden, he starts seeing blurry again. When his vision clears, he forgets the answers. 
He quickly excuses himself, but the strange behavior doesn't go unnoticed, by Yo Rim. Jai Su again goes to the counseling room to meet Mr. Han. The teacher welcomes him in, having already expected his return. Jai Su asked him for the soda that he was offered yesterday, because it made his memory excellent. Mr. Han doesn't hesitate, before telling him that the soda, will cost him his memory. He further explains that the soda replaces the unwanted and unfruitful memory saved in his brain, with knowledgeable information. This means that over time, he might forget memories that might be meaningful to him. However, Jai Su doesn't care about the consequences, as long as he gets good grades. After confirming that he is sure about the process, Mr. Han makes him sign a certificate, with his blood. The blood automatically forms his name on the paper. Then, we see him walking into a mirror, indicating that he has been lured into the sinister world, that Mr. Han has said. The next day, Jai Su stands in front of an old vending machine in the school. It has a single memory soda, that he tries to bring out, but the machine doesn't work. He shakes it a few times to get it to work, before walking away with the drink. We noticed that all this time, the machine was unplugged. The teacher has also warned him to drink only one soda, a day. In the next test, Jai Su gets done in the first few minutes, and surprises everyone. Many students start to take lessons from him, which is strange to Yo Rim. Since she has always been the first in class. In the following montage, we see Jai Su opening several cans of soda, and to chugging them down. He goes to the library every day, and skims through books. With the ability to memorize everything with only a glance, he doesn't have to try hard to get good grades. For the rest of the week he aces all the tests, and starts tutoring the best students of the school. One day, Kitai approaches him, begging to borrow hearts in a game they often play together. But Jai Su, who has entirely forgotten about the game, looks at him in surprise. He registers that the soda caused the memory loss, but doesn't stress over it since he can always learn how to play the game again. The next time he goes to get the soda, he notices something written on his finger. He is asked himself to get just one can, per day. Jai Su doesn't remember why the rule exists, and isn't sure if he already drank the soda for the day. Slowly, he starts forgetting the names of his classmates. Whenever he is in class, he feels like he came to the wrong place. Still, he convinces himself, that good grades, are more important. One day, he finds notes in his pocket, that ask him to end the contract once the exam is over. One of the notes also says that he shouldn't trust Mr. Han, because he, is a swindler. Jai Su checks for more notes, and finds his arm, filled with writings, that help him remember the basic things he needs to survive. He goes to talk to Mr. Han again, but the man is in no mood to help. Instead, he assures Jai Su, that the memories that are fading, are not as important, as the knowledge he is gaining in turn for them. Kitai and Jai Su are together during recess. Kitai has noticed Jai Su's strange behavior, in past couple of days. He calls him out for it, and thinks he is taking illegal pills to become smarter. When Jai Su doesn't speak, he asks him if he remembers his best friend. In a monotone voice, Jai Su answers, that his best friend is Kitai, a guy who is 27 out of 30 students in the class. Kitai knows something is off, but he can talk to him about it, Jai Su excuses himself, and walks away. Later that day, he is in the library studying for the last test. Yo Rim, Kitai, and one of their classmates, watch him from behind the shelves. Yo Rim has caught on to Mr. Han's strange personality, and discovered that their classmates are going missing, because of him. The people who go missing are erased from everyone's memory, which is why they are never reported. Kitai thinks she is bluffing, but is genuinely worried for his friend. They follow Jai Su to the vending machine, where he gets the soda for the second time, that day. The group is surprised because they had never noticed the machine until today. As Jai Su walks away, a can falls out of his bag. He bends down to pick it up, revealing that his bag is filled with soda cans, that he had drank in a single day. The overdose causes him to lose his memory faster, in only a few more hours, he doesn't even remember his name. He somehow ends up, in front of his school, but doesn't know if he really goes there. Mr. Han approaches him, and tells him his name, before taking him to his class, and pointing at his seat. Jai Su looks at his classmates, in confusion, having completely forgotten that he has them before. Then, he aces the last test of the midterm, and goes to the counseling room. On being asked how he got there, he shows Mr. Han the map on his arm, that he is drawn to help him remember. Now that the tests are over, he wants to gain his memory back. 
However, Mr. Han reminds him, that it is not possible, according to the contract. Instead he is asked to drink another can of soda, which will help him forget everything, altogether. Jai Su retaliates by saying that he wants to remember the feelings he felt, towards the people that he loved. Mr. Han smiles, and asks him to wait a little longer, and some time he will forget that he wants to get his memory back, and he won't be as desperate, anymore. Then, the first scene repeats, and Jai Su can be seen in front of the mirror, memorizing his friend's names. Suddenly, he turns back to his normal self, and meets Kitai at the basketball court. The two play together, like they used to before the midterms. After a while, they lie down to talk. Kitai suggests that they go out to the movies in the evening, but Jai Su declines, stating that he's busy. He bids farewell to his only friend, and goes to meet, Mr. Han. It turns out that he was granted his memories back, only for an hour, so he could say goodbye to his friend, properly. In the last scene, Mr. Han brings Jai Su into his world, erasing his existence, forever. Subscribe to our channel for daily updates movie recommendations and more, thank you for watching.